Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews for another very quick review, a quick look at some LEDs from RC Timer. And you can tell it from RC Timer because it says on it, RC Timer. Um, now Banggood has been selling LEDs, I've looked at those before, there's a review, I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can see the Banggood LEDs. These are the RC Timer ones. Why are these different? Well, they have more colours for a start. Um, as you can see, they've got some plain look they look plain these ones these got colored phosphors now the yellow one is white because the way leds work um, you can't actually create a white light with an led because white is a wide variety of bandwidths and leds t tend to focus on a very narrow beam of uh, narrow band of frequencies so you normally got your red green your blue which are an individual frequency but uh, white is all frequencies so what they do is they illuminate some phosphors with a sometimes an ultraviolet or a blue led which illuminates phosphors which then Re or basically convert that frequency, that single light frequency, into a wide ranging frequency and that is used then to create the white light, simple as that. And this orange one here, it's interesting, I think um, obviously they've got the same problem because orange is red and yellow. So LEDs generally produce one frequency of light, so they've had to use an orange phosphor to get the necessary spread of frequencies to produce this orange colour. But otherwise we've got, uh, as you can see on the back here, red and blue and green, they don't need any phosphors because they're just a single frequency that they can uh, produce within the LED itself. There you go, a little bit of background on LEDs and coloured ones. Uh, these come, uh, you get five pairs because you get two of each, obviously one for each side, and as I say you've got your red, green, blue, white and orange or amber I suppose. Um, you also get a bunch of this wire so you can wire them up. Now they don't come pre-soldered, I think um, Neither do the Banggood ones, but you've got this nice thin wire here, you can solder on these little solder tabs down there, I'll have a close look at those in a moment. And so we've got three LEDs, two resistors, and a circuit board, that's basically it. So here's a close up view of one of these LEDs, you can see we've got the three actual LEDs here, we've got some solder pads down here, and two resistors. Now, I was thinking, why do they use two resistors? That doesn't seem quite right, and why are there three solder pads? Well, quite clever really, these things, unlike the Banggood ones, will operate on a wide range of battery sizes, all the way from three cells up to six cells. So if you turn it over, it's got a little legend on the back that tells you what those solder tabs are. And you can see we've got one tab which will handle the positive voltage from three to four cells, and another tab will handle the positive voltage from five to six cells, and then there's the common negative down the bottom there. So you can, depending on the size of your battery, you just put the wires on whichever tabs you need to give you safe but bright illumination of the LEDs. That's a very good idea. Now there are holes on the side here uh, on a mini quad, I don't think you'd be screwing it to anything. Normally, we just use some cable ties or um, some heat shrink, as I tend to do. But uh, if you wanted to bolt it, the holes are there. And as I say, this is the wire. It's very fine wire, but it doesn't matter because we're only using a very small amount of current to drive these. These are not ultra high power LEDs, so we're talking probably tens or a hundred or so milliamps, I would think, maximum. But we'll measure it. Let's throw it on the power supply and just see how much power these things really suck. Radio, here we are. I've got the Banggood LEDs up here, I've got the RC Timer LEDs down here. I've noticed, I've looked at the resistors on these, and the RC Timer LEDs use a slightly higher value of resistor, so I wouldn't expect their LEDs to be as bright as the uh, Banggood ones. But on the other hand, if you run, this is on four, three cells, if you're running four cells, I think that the LEDs are probably a little bit overdriven on the Banggood ones, so they may not last as long on that as they will on the RC timer because of the lower current that flows through the RC timer one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the exposure of the camera because otherwise it'll just all blow out and we'll just compare the brightness. These are blue LEDs because I happen to have the uh, Banggood blue ones laying around. We'll just compare the brightness. Okay, so here we are, the picture's all dark because I've closed the iris, so I've, I've reduced the exposure on the camera and I'm gonna turn them on now and we should get an idea. There we go. Well, there's not really much to choose from, is there? I mean, they look pretty similar. If looking without the thing, I think probably the Banggood ones are just marginally, marginally brighter as I expected, but uh, nothing really to worry about. I'm going to wind them up now to 14.4 um, volts, which is the equivalent of a four cell pack that, at nominal voltage. And yeah, now they look to be, oh no, the Banggoods are still slightly brighter, so they're not being overdriven, because with an LED, if you over put too much current through, they actually get dimmer. Well, you reach a point where they have maximum brightness and then they start to get dimmer as their efficiency drops off. So, yeah, you know, I'd say hmm, six of one, half a dozen of another, really. Okay, let's measure the current draw. These are the Banggood ones, and they are going to draw 42 milliamps when they're on. That's fine. Let's try the Saval Zone ones, see what they draw. Saval Zone LEDs, here we go. 
and as I suspected, 35, 36 milliamps. That's because the resistor in series with them is a larger value. It limits the amount of current that flows. So there you go. But not a lot to choose between them, as I say. So there we go. There's the 10 LED strips that you get for your nearly 10 bucks. And just if you want to know what the other colors look like, this is the amber or orange color. There it is. See, it's quite bright. It's a very warm. It's not as sharp red as the red. Um, and this is the white, which obviously is the much brighter of all the colors. Really, really bright, the white LEDs. So there you go. Now, price-wise, I think these were 10 bucks. I paid 10 bucks for these. So it's about a dollar per LED strip. And the Banggood ones were a bit cheaper. I think a dollar, when I bought mine, a dollar 69 for two strips, which is, you know, what's that about? Um, 80, 90 cents per LED. So the price difference isn't that great. The benefit of these RC timer ones is that they are um, a wider range of colors which is quite nice. If you only wanted one color, of course, well, you know, you, can, you have to buy them in packs of five, the, the five colors, uh, the five pairs here, if you buy them from RC Timer. So if you don't want all the colors, I guess it's not as good a deal, but uh, I would, you know, I'm gonna buy some more of these because I like them, they seem to work well. And I'm not that impressed with Banggood service at the moment, but a couple of orders they've really screwed up and they haven't followed through with any kind of customer support. So meh, just based on customer service alone, I'd probably opt for the RC Timer LEDs um, Performance-wise, there's very little to choose from. Price-wise, there's little to choose from. But at least when I order from RC Timer, I know I'm going to get my product. And it's going to be what I ordered, not something else completely. Never mind. There you go. Thanks for watching. If you've got questions, if you've got comments, stick them in the space below the description of this video where uh, YouTube kindly provides a space for you to do so. Anyway, I've got to get back to the bench. More stuff to do. Lots more editing on the UHF gear. And I'm getting you know pretty close to that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.